Alright, so the first thing you're gonna do is of course open After Effects. Bloop. And then these are my composition settings. Bam. It is 1080 by 1920. I am on 60 frames per second. If you make a new project, just press new project. And then you're going to press new composition and then do all that stuff. What we're going to do first is import our audio. So control I or command I on Mac. Now we're going to import our videos. So command I. And then we're going to select the images or videos that you're doing. And we're just going to drag that in here. What we're going to do is basically cut it. So shift control D to cut or shift command D to cut. Go through the audio and like mark it on the beats. You just press that and then there you go. Oh, sorry guys. If you want to turn off your audio, click this. Once you finish splitting them, we're going to pre-compose each separate clip. So right click or double click, double tap, move all attributes into new composition. Once you pre-compose all of them, now it's time to do the velocity. So I'm going to be using Twixter, but you can also use Time Warp. The speed is up here. Change this to 20 and then you can also like keyframe it. Make a keyframe towards the middle. Boom. Go towards the beginning and then change it to a higher speed. So like 50 or so. Then press you on your keyboard, easy ease these, right click one of them, keyframe assistant, and then easy ease. So yeah, that's how you use time warp. But I am gonna be using Twixer because basically you're gonna repeat the process for all of these. So click a keyframe, make sure at the beginning and then go towards the end and then change it to like 30 or 20. I'm gonna actually do 20 to easy ease these and then you don't have to do a graph but i just like to do a graph just because i don't know why but after you have done this you're going to copy and paste this so Control c and then you're going to go to the beginning of the next clip Control v and then it copies everything that you did so yeah you can pre-compose it again if you want i'm just going to pre-compose this again it's time for the transition. The first thing you want to do is add motion tile. I actually have a motion tile preset, but I'm just going to show you how to do it real quick. So add it to your clip. Then you're going to change output width to like 300. Change output height to 300. And then you're going to press mirror edges. Go towards the middle. And then we're going to press S. We're going to make a keyframe. Click the stopwatch. And then we're going to go to the beginning. And then we're going to scale this out. Highlight all of them, easy ease them to press our graph. And then we're gonna change it to value graph. If it's not already on there. And then we're gonna do something like this. And then turn on motion blur. These are my motion blur settings. Basically, since it's like not giving us the motion blur thing, we need to slide this over just a little bit. And then we get that. And then what we're gonna do guys is add a no layer. So you're gonna press layer, new, no object, cut it, shift, control D, delete. And then we're going to link this to our null. So click the clip and then drag this thing to the null. And then we're gonna click on our null object and then we're gonna press S. Then we're gonna press the stopwatch. Let's see. Let's do position, press stopwatch, and then press U to bring up all your keyframes. Then you're gonna go towards the end, scale this back out, and we're gonna slide it like this way. So yeah, we have to add a graph, of course. So we're gonna select these last two, and we're gonna drag these over towards the end. Then we're gonna select all of them, press F9, easy ease them. This is gonna pop up, guys, but don't like freak out. What we're gonna do is separate these dimensions. So right click it, and then press separate dimensions. It's still like not the graph that we want. We have to like turn this off. So if you like click it, both of them are gonna turn off. Basically you're gonna like click somewhere off the screen to like stop highlighting it. And then you're gonna press the Y position and then you're turning that off essentially. And then once you click X position again, I just like to easy ease them again. Once you do it, it should look like this. Now you're gonna do an out graph. Basically what you wanna do is like do something like this 
don't do it like this because then it's gonna like not be like the best we're gonna do the same thing for scale and then yeah it should look something like that and then what we're gonna do guys is finish the transition on the next clip boom go towards the center press s stopwatch press p stopwatch go towards the beginning if you want you can copy and paste this motion tile and paste it in there and press u scale it in this time and then you're gonna move it to this side oops wrong side guys position it on this side my bad and then scale it in some more it should zoom out like that and then we have to add a graph so turn on motion blur and then select all of them press y separate the dimensions and then you're going to click off click the y up position and then you're going to have to easy ease this again because we separated that i mentioned we're going to do a graph like this and then you're going to do scale same graph boom and then for this graph guys you have to like move everything back one well not everything but these first two move it like back one so you're gonna have to edit the keyframes guys to like what will look best for the edit so there's our first transition we have finally finished yay and then guys basically you're gonna do the same thing for all the other transitions it's low-key like time consuming but you got this guys we're gonna like try to zoom in on her face scale it into her face really quick so easy easy is change it to speed graph and then we're gonna do something like this so whatever beat you have it's gonna be different but we're gonna try to like match it to when it says you know and then i'm also going to like loosen this some it's kind of stiff and if you want, you can add some rotation to it too. I'm gonna make a graph for rotation. We're gonna pre-compose these no layers. Boom, boom, make sure they're together. So first, we're going to put this clip on top of the next one. We're going to freeze the last frame. Right click it and then press time and then freeze on last frame. And then we're going to cut it right there. And then we're going to do something like that. Search up Luma, Luma. And then I'm going to use Dissolve Luma. We're going to make a keyframe, go towards the end, and then turn it to 100. Just mess around with it, honestly. I forgot to mention, while holding Shift, select the bottom one and then pre-compose it. See you guys. Remember that. Sorry, guys. I forgot to explain. Now it is time for the extra effects. Um, one of the effects I'm going to use is optics compensation. Compensation. Oops. Turn on reverse lens distortion. Go towards like the end of your transition field of view. Go to the beginning and then increase this to however much you need to. And press U. And then we're gonna just easy ease these. You might need to put this out like all the way. <laughs> then what we're gonna have to do is do a graph, of course. You can do something like this, honestly. You can actually add an adjustment layer to like add like anything else you want to add on top. I low key want to try adding a warp shake. I add a brightness. Um, this was a preset that I had. And then I'm going to try adding half tone. We can use this as like a one frame glitch. Oh, I kind of like that. Okay. Uh. All right. I kind of like the one frame glitches. The half tone glitches okay we can keep that as far as shakes i'm just gonna experiment with this low key i was not prepared honestly i'm not gonna do too much and then obviously i'm gonna add some blur in between the transitions so they're a little more smooth so i'm gonna add it over these two and i'm gonna cut it kind of like this blur so yeah bcc blur or gaussian blur is okay all right and then right here i think i'm gonna add like a shape layer glitch so Add a new solid, and then you're gonna press OK, OK. And then we're gonna go like in between these frames right here. We're gonna go about right here. Go one frame before, and then one frame after. Then delete that, delete that. Then you're gonna split it in between. You're gonna turn on proportional grid, split this in half. Just like that. And then you're gonna do the same thing for the other side. It's gonna be just like that 
And then once you play it back, it's just like that. All right, anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Um, I low-key have to edit an hour of footage, but I'm doing it for y'all. Woo, woo. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I love you so much. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.